laplace of error function of root t is given as 1 upon s root of s plus 1 and we have to evaluate integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2t error function of 2 root t dt. Now to get the value of this integration let's observe the integration. So here we have the limits from 0 to infinity uh, integration is with respect to t then here we have e raised to minus 2t term and the function is given as error function of 2 root t. Now guys if you observe the given question carefully then you can easily identify that this question is exactly similar with the definition of Laplace transform. So here I'll start with the definition of Laplace transform. So here I'll say by the definition of Laplace transform we have Laplace of function of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt. So in this question s is 2 and f of t is error function of 2 root t. So therefore I can say that integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2t error function of 2 root t dt is equal to Laplace of error function of 2 root t. So here I am applying the definition of Laplace transform where we take or we find the Laplace of this function of t and here the function of t is error function of 2 root t. Also the value of s is 2 so here I will mention that where s is equal to 2. Now let's solve or let's find out the Laplace of error function of 2 root t and after that let's substitute s as 2 to get the final answer. Now for that we have been given Laplace of error function of root t which is 1 by s root of s plus 1 and we have to find error function of 2 root t. Now guys if you will again observe carefully then it can match with change of scale property. Now what is change of scale property? So we know that here I will write it down that that Laplace of f of a t is given as 1 by a phi of s by a. It means in a function of t if that t has a coefficient a then it becomes function of a t and because of that the answer will be 1 by a that is the same coefficient into function of s upon a. So according to it if you will observe then here the coefficient of root t is 2. So guys do you mean that a is 2? No you are completely wrong because if you will observe carefully then 2 is a coefficient of root t and according to property we want a to be the coefficient of t. So first of all I need to take this 2 inside the root so that that will become coefficient of t. So here I will say that it is equal to Laplace of error function of root of now when I will take 2 inside the square root we will square the number so that will become 4 and t as it is so that if you will take root of 4 it will be 2 and root t as it is and now if you will observe then this 4 is coefficient of t and hence I can say it is my a so by the change of scale property here we will get 1 upon 4 function of s by 4. Now to get the value of function of s by 4 we want function of s. So we know that in this property that Laplace of f of t is given by function of s and hence Laplace of function of a t is 1 by a function of s upon a. So now where is this Laplace of function of t? So as we got this value that is error function of 2 root t from error function of root t then this is our function of t. So this is Laplace of function of t and this is our Laplace of function of a t. So the value of Laplace of this function of t is 1 upon s root of s plus 1. I will assume 
that this is my function of s. So here I'll say where function of s is 1 upon s root of s plus 1. And now to get the value of function of s by 4, I will substitute s equal to s by 4 in this function of s. So this will become equal to 1 by 4, 1 upon s by 4 square root of s by 4 plus 1. So I have substituted s as s upon 4 everywhere. So now 4 and 4 will be cancelled and we will get 1 upon s and in the square root by cross multiplication s plus 4 by 4. Now the square root of 4 is 2 so that 2 will go in the numerator and we will get 2 upon s square root of s plus 4. So this is the value of Laplace transform of error function of 2 root t. Now to get the value we have to put here I said that where s is equal to 2. So we have to put s as 2. So this will become integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2t because I am going to put s equal to 2 error function of 2 root t dt and here we will get 2 upon 2 root of 2 plus 4. So this 2 and 2 will be cancelled and we will get 1 upon root of 6. It means we got the value of integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus 2t error function of 2 root t dt as 1 upon root 6. Thank you.